everybody. Here we are in the Make Code Arcade Advanced live stream once again. Um, my name is Vivian. I'm at LibCheerful on the Make Code forums. And I'm Daryl at Darzu on the Make Code forums. I'm Joey at JWanderl on the Make Code forums. I'm Richard. Yeah, I'm Shannon at Shakao on the Make Code forums. Okay, cool. So if you are watching our stream today, but you weren't watching our stream yesterday, you might be coming in thinking like, oh, wow, this looks like we've done a lot of work and I know nothing about it. Well, don't worry, we're gonna talk about this. So yesterday, Richard was driving and we were doing the game generator where it has like for awards and we have, that's like our prompt and we have to make a game. And so yesterday our prompt was, wait, does anybody remember it? It was relaxing survival game set on an island featuring dessert. Yeah, so this is what we came up with. So we are relaxing on an island, but inherently since it's a deserted island, it's like survival. So don't worry about that part, we got that covered. And then for the desserts, we're gonna make brownies and other desserts, but since we're on an island, we don't have like chocolate. So all we can find is like driftwood. And so we'll collect substitutes for it and then make our sad substitute desserts. And so all of these things we haven't come up with like good substitutes yet, that's kind of where we stopped. So we'll continue there today. But if you want to look at what we did yesterday, a brief overview for you and for me, we have our sprite here. It's this person with a mo mohawk, not mohawk. I forgot what we decided. No, it was a mohawk when it was in profile, but it, it uh, graduated to just being a normal haircut. Okay, a normal green haircut. And then what we have going on is if this person's on the island, then they have a life preserver, which is very cute. And then we also have random ingredients spawning from all four sides of the screen coming in towards the palm tree. And, and let's see, we have the recipe, which is text sprites by Daryl's extension. And wait, is somebody dropping in the starter code into the chat? I don't know. Um, yes. And base. Okay, cool. And basically, where we left off yesterday is we're checking to see if the driftwood is chocolate, and that's it. So we have no other substitutions, and so we got to basically line everything up, and then get lots of more recipes, and progress, and make lots of desserts. So um, I think first things first, we got to come up with substitutions. This is getting really crowded for eggs, milk, and flour. Do you guys have any ideas? Hmm. So I think for egg, we were talking about uh, uh, coconuts, but I like mm -hmm. the idea more of the egg maybe just being like a pebble. Mm -hmm. Floating in the ocean? Yeah, I don't know how okay. people, people feel about that. Mm, what kind of pebble floats in the ocean? A, a light pebble. What about like, isn't there a kind of rock that's full of holes? Yes. Pumice? Pumice, yeah, yeah it could be. Pumice. Is that how you say that? <laughs> I don't remember. It's been a while. No one knows. Okay. And Where, then we, wait, so, but does that yeah. does that show up on the ocean? Anybody? Mm. No. It's volcanic, so it must. If the volcano dream. <laughs> okay. I don't think so I'm gonna. Common. <laughs> wait. What? What? I said I don't think pumice just floats around the ocean. Um, maybe we're in a special, who says we're just in any island? Maybe we're on Volcano Island. I, I'm okay with pumice. Um, Richard, will you draw pumice? Oh, Can I drew I a seashell. A oh, okay, cool. Is that for the milk or the flour? Uh, I didn't know what it was for, but I wanted to draw a seashell. Okay, so it's in the chat. But, yes, I will draw um, that now, though. Cool. I think it could be for flour, like if you ground up the seashell. Mm. That could plausibly be. Yeah, totally. So here we go on a journey to find ingredients. Oh, okay, cool. So we're going to make an ingredient. We're going to add a new one. Else if ingredient index. So all our ingredients are secretly numbers, and we just have to know which one is which. But okay. don't worry. Yeah. So there's a thing called a pumice raft where when a volcano erupts, it'll make a giant raft out of a, a bunch of pumice stones and it'll float across the ocean. I stand corrected. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, it's like, this isn't pumice, it's a seashell. I forgot that's what we were doing. Okay, 
Michelle. Okay, so I added the index here, but I'm pretty sure we're not checking for that anywhere. So let's find where that is. Make ingredient zero to two. We gotta make this zero to three. And now I'm assuming we should be spawning some seashells. Let's take a look. Everybody else, feel free to make art. Oh, here we go, seashell, great, okay. Um, maybe also in the meantime, oh no, what's happening? Stop, stop it, oh no. Um, I'm gonna also put in all the substitutions so we can see what we got so far and then what we need. So, some of these can be for things that we don't have yet. So the actual ingredient is flour, and the found ingredient is shell. We're going to return true. What else we got? I guess maybe we should start with the found ingredients because we have all of those first. So let's see. What what is jellyfish? Jellyfish is jellyfish. Jellyfish is jelly, right? Definitely. Like you could, you could use it to make some jello. You could use it to make a jelly roll. Those are fun. Mm -hmm. Can I put jelly or fruit? If, can we have both? Sure, yeah. Do that. If it's the actual ingredient is jelly or fruit, jellyfish is a fine fruit substitute. Fruit. Mm. What else do we got? We have. I, I gotta say, uh huh. You know, be lettuce or something like that. <laughs> we're, greens. We're, we're making desserts. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. You'd be matcha? Matcha! <laughs> I love matcha. Okay. Now let's see. Shell, did I do it? one, two, three, four? Ooh, it could also be mint. Ooh, I like that. Duplicate. Did I put that in the right one? Put it there. No, <laughs> you didn't go. Away. Okay, I'm gonna take you out, put you here. And then, oh no. Go away. Go in here. And you go in here. And then we're gonna add mint, which is a great idea. Okay, we need some more basics, like flour and milk. What could be white in the ocean? Seagulls? Do seagulls have <laughs> milk? I think, I think, I, I think we should coconut. make our desserts. I think we should make our desserts vegetarian. Well, I guess we already have jellyfish in there. <laughs> jellyfish don't oh, coconut. Rice. Coconut, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll make a coconut. Um, Oh yeah, coconut's perfect for milk. Yeah. That's actually an okay substitution. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm I'm struggling to to make something that is pumice that is just not um, a, a blob with with some spots on it because that's basically what pumice is. That's pumice. Why is that a struggle? That sounds like a like. great success. All right. <laughs> you asked for. I'm going to make this over here because we're going to have a lot of ingredients. Okay. What was I making? Oh, coconut. Okay, here we go. Coconuts are round. It's going to start with this. Coconut should be doable. Do I want to try to make the fur on the coconut? Is this an acceptable use of one pixel? I don't know. I'll make the holes first. Yes, it is. Yeah, you got to make those holes. Do coconuts have holes like bowling balls? I've never yep. seen a coconut before. Okay, cool. It's um, I looked this up for another stream we were doing, I think, and it was that uh, the 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 sprouts come out of there. Ooh, so you can propagate the coconut. Ooh, this should have been this color, definitely. Okay, I also want to give some texture to it. What's a good shading? Might be orange. That looks good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Cool, cool. It looks like a little little person struggling in the ocean. 
Okay, now we got, um, maybe I'll have like a variable that's number of ingredients and I'll just increase that. number of ingredients. I think it's with an E. And then one, two, it's four, so we it's five, because we start at zero. And then we, when we choose a random one, we're gonna pick a random one from zero to number of ingredients. Number of ingredients. Oh, okay, some things are happening in the chat. Is this pumice? What? Oh, yes, it is a very poorly drawn pumice. I heard plum. Too. Maybe it's a good substitution for for plumus. hummus for plum, <laughs> or maybe hummus. Um, okay. I was trying to think of something that um, would be a good substitution for precious ambergris, but I don't know if I can. What's that? It's whale vomit. What is it used for? Okay, so okay. sometimes. Whales eat squid beaks, okay? Because uh -huh. whales are dumb. Then the squid beaks go into the whale stomach and it gets covered in precious ambergris. Then the whale throws it up and you get these blobs of ambergris. Turns out though, it's really good for making perfume. So if you get ambergris, it sells for a ton of money. It's illegal to do this by the way now, pretty much everywhere. Um, but people used to just walk up and down beaches looking for ambergris that had washed up on the beach because if you found one, it would pay for your college. Whoa, okay, very precious. Yeah. Okay, um, I have another question. Why, why do squids have beaks? They're not a bird. I don't know. Beaks are kind of cool. I guess. I think that's just the reason. They're the birds of the sea. <laughs> mm, I feel like Fish would be the birds of the sea. Well, well, that's a that's a pretty big category. Mm. I guess there are lots of different kinds of birds. How Do how we... is a squid not the bird of the sea? Is my question. If you can answer that, I'll accept. Mm, there are too many components to a squid, and birds are pretty simple creatures. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's. This is pumice. It looks like a cookie. It does look like a cookie. Cool. Okay. Um, counterpoint, squids mm -hmm. have beaks, birds have beaks, beaks. And that's why squids are birds? Yes. Don't certain kinds of fish also have beaks? Like pumice? Parrotfish? Oh wait, was the pumice, a, sorry, was the pumice, back to the, uh, was the pumice a substitute for eggs? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Just a little yes. weird. Or maybe also salt, because it's a rock, and salt and rock is also salt yes. is also a rock. Yes, and we put this in here. Um, pufferfish do in fact have beaks. Mm. Pufferfish. So there's a thing called a parrotfish, and a parrot is a bird. <laughs> okay, I feel like this. Wait, is a squid a fish? No. Okay. Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think fish have bones. Ooh. Man, we're getting back to the days of um, when this was also an animal facts show. <laughs> an animal facts show, but all the facts are incorrect. <laughs> um, do you need to put this here? Half of the facts are incorrect. You just don't know which half. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I um, you have a failed test on null, component. so it looks like there's somewhere where you're not returning something. It looks like there's an else on that make ingredient, and you wouldn't return anything in that case. Um, wouldn't I? If, but I would still return you. Oh, okay. Okay. yeah, but it's not being assigned to anything. Um, yeah. Cool. Oh, oh, we got flour. I forgot what the kelp. Kelp is matcha and mint, so we don't need that. We have egg. We need a coconut for milk, and then chocolate. Driftwood, driftwood. Why am I picking up all these? Wait, where did I get chocolate? Okay, cool. So now that we have a completed, um, now that we have a completed ingredient list, we should bake it. So my idea is every time we have a valid ingredient, um, we should check to see if everything is complete. And 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to use sprites data uh, set set. Okay, so I'm going to add uh, a data component to each text sprite, which is like mm, fulfilled fulfilled. Okay, if it's fulfilled, that's going to start off as false. And then when we find it, we're going to change fulfilled to true. And then I'm going to make a new function, which is going to be, can we bake? And then it's going to check all the things in our ingredients list to see if they're all fulfilled. And if it is, then we will bake it and move on to the next thing. So um, current recipe parts. I'm just going to copy this loop because I'm pretty sure this is one we need. And I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to go to logic, if, and we need to see if some something is true. So we're going to get use we're going to get the get part of this, and we're going to get it as a boolean, and if we're going to get oh, here, I need I need I need this. So we're getting something from the current recipe parts at index. Data fulfilled. If it's not fulfilled, we put it in a not. If it's not fulfilled, then we are going to return false. Logic. False. Otherwise, if we've gone through everything and nothing has been not fulfilled, then we're going to return true. Are you mad? Are you mad? Why are you mad? Argument of type string is not assignable to parameter of type sprite. Get value at data fulfilled as Boolean. Uh, you're doing current recipe parts. You want current recipe sprites, I think. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you can just choose it in the drop down. Yeah. yeah, text sprites. Nice. That's what yeah. we wanted. Cool, cool. And then go away. Yes. Okay, so we're going to call this function. Uh, can we bake? If this is true, then we're going to bake. Maybe I'll... Um, so how are we storing the recipe? I did not look into that. So there's a there's basically um, a function that's like create recipe. Mm -hmm. Right. And then there's another one that's like um, start recipe or something. Oh, okay. Start recipe. Check substitution on gain update. No, you're not over here. Should I do a Daryl? I'm going to do a Daryl. I'm going to collapse blocks and then I'm going to format code. Now we have them all in iShot. Now I'm going to check. Okay, we have this is uh, mine. Start, start, start recipe. recipe. Yeah. Oh, cool. And it takes and in then. an index and then it sets the recipe parts and creates the recipe. So oh. the idea is that once we get to the last recipe index, or after mm -hmm. recipe is completed, we just like increment it. And then once we get to the last one, we can do game over win. Nice, nice. OK. Um, I'm going to first destroy everything from our last recipe, though. I think that's necessary, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds but good. that's easy peasy. Do not worry, because we can just destroy all of a kind. I'm assuming they're all the same kind. Um, erase. Yeah. OK, Come. maybe I'll do like complete. Oh, bake. It's going to be bake. This is going to contain destroying the recipe and maybe generating a sprite for the completed thing. I haven't decided if I want to do that yet. Okay, so let's. I'm going to. I'm going to look up kind because I can never remember where this is, and set sprite list to array of sprites kind, and then for element of list, and let's see what kind it is. It's text. Yep, it should be text. Cool. cool. I'm going to check that it's going to be OK. And then we're going to destroy this. And then maybe I'll have our sprite say something, just so we know we did it. This was some, it was person. I was really alarmed because it wasn't 
the player. Okay, and then, oh no, person say, and I think we store the name of the recipe. Okay, create recipe, recipe name, where are we using this? Are you using this? Uh, I, I don't think we store it. I think we just use it for creating the label, but we don't we don't store mm, it. Uh, okay. Should be pretty mm. easy to though. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, By the way, real oh, quick. Yeah. The neon flying squid can fly over a hundred feet through the air to escape predators. Oh my goodness! What? How much is a hundred feet? How many people is that? It's like it's a ten story. People? It's a ten story building. <laughs> if we can find a video of that, I need to see it. I almost said um, dolphins can fly and dolphins are fish, and that is emphatically not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. there are flying fish. I'm just saying that um, there are also Wait, flying squids. Richard, I feel like if the squids are flying, don't then. Doesn't that make them the fish of the sky instead of the birds of the sea? No, that's nonsense. <laughs> what you just said is nonsense. I feel like all of this. OK, um, can I set a data on current recipe text frights? Uh, You could. You could also just use a variable to store it. But it's beautiful this way. OK. OK, cool. Current recipe text sprites data name to oh okay that'll be fine I think that's an array um, yeah uh, okay I can't do that I can't do that it's not a sprite okay I'll just make a variable it's not beautiful current current recipe name Current recipe name, the recipe name. Start off on a strong foot knowing what we're gonna bake. And then we're gonna have it say something. We're gonna join, say, yum. I love, and then we're gonna say current recipe name. I love brownies. And then, okay, so back to, uh, the overlaps code. So can we bake? We weren't doing anything before, but now we can bake. Why are you mad? Is it still mad? No, it's not mad anymore. Cool, cool, cool. So let's see if we're going to bake. Milk. Thomas is flour. No, Thomas is egg. Driftwood is chocolate. What's flour? Seashell? Seashell. Seashell. Where's the seashell? Wait, seashell is flour? You grind them up. <laughs> Where I gotta admit, that, that one that one is tenuous. Oh, no. I, all right, you got them all. I, yeah, did I check? Uh, I did not call. Oh, I did call Can We Bake. So, let's see. If call Can We Bake, Sorry. then call Can Bake. And let's see, you go over the elements of array of kind text, destroy it, and then you Does say it once for. Sorry, yes. that, that'll, that'll be the title and all of the text sprites. And it looks like you're saying it once for every single text sprite. Oh, yeah. I'll just but you're not setting it for the title, right? Oh, the title of the recipe? Wait, what? So you're checking to see if they're all fulfilled, but mm -hmm. this array also includes the title, which doesn't have the fulfilled. Oh. Oh, yes. So Wait, you shouldn't. No, 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 no. The title is not inside of the current recipe text sprites. Oh, are you not going over all? The, I changed it. The okay. title was never, no, right. was never in it. It's, it's yes, above yes. the for loop. Yeah. So could you move that can we bake down? Yeah. All right, so on overlaps there, we check substitution, set the icon to X, set text sprite data fulfilled, data other sprite, destroy the other sprite, and then call can we bake. We loop over Wait, everything. This is wrong. The... Yes, that is wrong. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, current text sprite, get value at index. Wait, 
This is right. That's right. Okay, cool. Yes. Now we're gonna bake something. Who knows what I was setting for pill to true before? Could have been any. Lovely flour. Chocolate. Here we go. Um, we don't need jelly. We don't need matcha or mint. We need an egg. What was milk again? Oh, we have chocolate already. Milk is coconut, obviously. And then flour is seashell. Um, I love brownies. Cool. And then what we're going to do now, did I smell brownies, right? Yes, I did. Cool. Uh, we're going to move on to the next recipe. So, current. Are, are we just so calling? We should, we yeah. should probably store a um, current recipe index somewhere, which yeah. I think we already do. Yeah, there it is, recipe index. Oh, cool, cool. So you should change recipe index by one and then call start recipes on the new one. Yeah. It's like you've yeah. got an exception that's happening sometimes, so. Can you press play on the simulator? Yeah. Okay, it's happening sometimes. Can you can you reset a few times and we'll see if we hit it? Uh, can we just turn on the debugger because won't it stop on the exception that way? Yeah, but I'm making sure it's actually there yet okay. first. Okay, yeah, let's, okay. let's use the debugger. Let's Debug. Cool. Exception. Oh, there so, we go. I, I've never used this before, so I don't know. Okay, what okay. So okay. It, it, it has already stopped on the exception. You can see right mm -hmm. there, same error failed. And it looks like that on game update right there is the uh -huh. is the culprit. You're going to have oh. to stop debugging so that you can expand it, though. Oh, okay. Stop debugging. On game update. So maybe we're. That's so, up. All right. It looks like it's calling right. unique ingredients. Random between zero and number of ingredients. I'm gonna guess that's off by one there. Oh. Okay. Cool. So let's see. Where did my number of my ingredients? Check substitution, make ingredient. So it was zero, one, two, three, four, five. So we gotta add six ingredients. Number of ingredients to six. It's inclusive, so it should be five. Oh. Or you cool. should yeah. Cool. Okay. Makes sense. Um, I forgot what I was doing before. I was doing something with, oh yeah, it's increasing the recipe index once we baked. So we're going to change, change, current recipe, no, current, what is it, recipe index? Recipe index by one. And then create recipe, and then we're going to create recipe. Guys, I've been trying to draw a starfish for like 10 minutes now, and it's really. Mm -hmm. What is the starfish? Fish. <laughs> I like the idea of having different kinds. Maybe one of them could be nutmeg and the other one could be cinnamon or allspice in the same genre, but different. All spice for starfish is very good. Because <laughs> it's, is it five? Wait, no, it's all spices. Never mind. Um, recipe index. We're going to pass the recipe index in. And then I'm going to say in create recipe. Where did I put here? Okay. So this currently. Wait. Hold on. Start. Wait, create recipe is getting a name. Ah, okay, so start recipe is the one we care about, not create recipe. That's why you're mad at me. I'm sorry. Okay, start recipes. It even tells me it wants a number. I'm going to call that on recipe index. And then else. Okay, so we're going to have a number here. And I'm going to say else. We're going to end the game when so once we've gone through all the recipes we're going to win and so we have recipe one it's the next one okay. also one thing i want to do is check oh, wait okay we don't actually have to check to see if this is brownies or not it will just put in everything we have in the survey so what should we make next all right, well, I think we should do something that involves the matcha. 
because I mm-hmm. feel like that's that's going to be the hardest one. So who's got a good matcha matcha recipe? I make really good matcha mac macarons with matcha buttercream. Okay, but, I like that. Okay, cool. Um, we might have to make almonds though. So basically, ma- uh, the buttercream you need matcha, you need butter, milk is fine, sugar, and some kind of yeah milk. And then for the oh man, cool. And then for I, I, what? I don't know if we want to. We want to do uh, no. Keep going, but um, we can make it later. Or. No, no, no. I'm, I'm worried that we're going to make the recipe list so long that it's going to go off the screen. Oh, it's okay. The macarons are simple. They just need almond flour. But I'll just put flour in. Flour, and they need eggs. And powdered sugar. But that's that can be sugar. We can add it in later. Do we have a substitution for sugar yet? No, we need sugar. So earlier you had eggs as singular. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Daryl. Mm-hmm. Egg. Um, and then create recipe. Oh, somebody was saying something? No. Okay. Um, this might be everything. Start recipes, recipe index. I'm just going to see if it works. I feel like Coconuts could be both milk and sugar. Uh huh. I'm down with it, but I want—I kind of want to hear reasoning. <laughs> well, just like it's you know really sweet, like the husk part once you once you've taken mm. out the milk. Um, but it wouldn't be too hard probably to just have sugar cane floating around. Ooh. One thing on the list, I need to have it stop saying something. People, okay. Uh, I'm gonna check the matcha substitution. And we need butter. Okay, cool, cool. So, butter, I'm gonna add, I like, I'm gonna add sugar for coconuts, because I'm convinced that coconuts are sweet. Though I've never tried it before. Um, okay, so first, where does this say? Is the bake? Can we bake? No. Check substitutions. Okay, I can add coconut for sugar. Coconut. Gonna add another or in here. Or sugar. Sugar. And coconut. Go in here. So no. this is all gonna work out. It's not gonna double count. Um. Oh. And maybe I'll return. Oh, yeah, that's a good call. Wait, wait. Uh, how's it going to double count? Can you go back? Well, you I'm, have both sure. uh, milk and sugar in the recipe. Yeah. Oh, it's on the I mean, it, it, okay. it'll count for one and then it'll count for the other, right? Like, mm-hmm. well, you'll only need one coconut for both, or will you need two coconuts? That's the question. Oh, well, let's just do one for both. Who cares? I mean, we could also we could also do do uh, we could I guess put in a boolean and then check it and then not check anymore. Um, that would also work. No, uh, this, mm-hmm. this seems fine. Okay. Also, I have a question. Do you guys have opinions on not destroying if we've already collected the ingredient for that? Because we can add that in too. Oh, I think we already do that. Um, I think we keep on collecting. So let's see. So we only destroy if if, it, if we use it. Oh. Um, no, but we destroy the eggs all the time. Or the shells. Oh, I see. If it's yeah, if yeah. it's in the current recipe, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Then I can add that. Oh, yeah. I want to do the save first because they're saying this for an awfully long time. Um, it's in bake, I think. Where did I put bake? Bake. Oh, yes. Here we go for two seconds. Okay, by bake. Okay. So we, we're going to do an and to check to see that it has not been complete fulfilled yet. If it is a valid substitution, I'm going to try constructing this outside of the if. And if we need this. No, we don't want that one. We want this one as a get. And it's going to be this one. 
and fulfilled. Fulfilled. I'm pleased I've been spelling fulfilled correctly very consistently. Yeah, um, I was impressed. Thank you. It's an awful lot of letters. Okay, but so let's is, see. It's just difficult. That L just sneaks up on you. Oh, no. Oh, and not and not fulfilled. My, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second L or the first L, Richard? The first L. I always forget it. I try to do fulfilled. So fulfilled. <laughs> fulfilled. It's full of filledness. Yep. I'll never forget it now. <laughs> This is second to only only to Daryl's regex trick of starts with carrots, ends in money, which has forever helped me remember um, which which thing in regex means the uh, beginning of the the string and which means the the end. Are you a carrot farmer or something? <laughs> no, I was just complaining about how I could never remember it when you're writing a regex mm -hmm. if dollar sign was the beginning or the end. Um, and Daryl gave me that wonder that wonderful tool. It's it's like you know the joke of like step one get carrots step two question mark question mark question mark step three profit. <laughs> okay, so um, right now I'm setting the Z for the text sprites for the rest of these to be very high because oh I'm gonna put one up here too because I want to see the recipe on top of everything. Okay. So now the recipe is above the ingredients. Let's see. Yeah, that's on top. Everything's on top. Great. OK. Mm, what else were we doing? Oh, yeah, we're coming up with substitutions. So is this chat, you guys? Let's see. Oh, I see two starry, starry beings. Let's do Shannon's first. Um, make ingredient. Shannon, do you oh. also make a starfish? Yes. <laughs> no. I had it. I was. <laughs> I'm sure it's no. much better than mine. Richard, we're going to have. Plan, though. Yeah, we have a plan. Um, Shannon, do you want to introduce your starfish? Oh, it's a starfish? Um, uh huh. Oh, so much better. It could be cinnamon. <laughs> oh, love. Okay. Oh, it looks so good far away. What's the starfish's backstory? Did it come? Did it love its mother? Definitely. Yes. <laughs> cool. Okay. So whenever we add a new ingredient, we gotta do some things. We gotta increase. Where did it go? Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna collapse blocks and then format, and then pull out the things we care about. So make ingredient, we're going to do on start, we're going to do check substitution. All right, so make ingredient, we did that on start, we're going to increase this by one, and then check substitution. Or Richard, is your starfish also orange? Yes, mine is um, just orange, though. It involves no other colors. It is a solid orange starfish. It's going to be a shady star. And then here, we're going to do a new substitution. I'm going to start off with a simple one. Can add on. So if it's a shady star, then the actual ingredient is cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon. Okay. Cinnamon. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's everything. I'm. I'm going to make a list. Add a comment. When adding a new ingredient, one, add two, make ingredient, two, let me make this a little longer, white, two, increase number of ingredients, ingredients, and on start, three, it to valid substitutions. Cool. Adding there so I don't forget anything. Cool. Now we got another star coming in. Also, we need some a substitution for butter. Um, eventually. And did I add the sugar for coconuts? I think I did. 
Oh, oh, I did it bad. So this should be six. This should be seven. This. Do you want to talk about your star backstory, Richard? My starfish is shaped like a star. It's orange, <laughs> which is the international color for starfish. Um, and uh, mine uh, does not have a good relationship with its mother. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to call this sad star. Okay. It does, <laughs> it does not. Okay, is it proud of its poor relationship with its mother? <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. Go for okay, it. Okay, cool, sad cool. Star. Sad star. Else if duplicate. If it is a sad star. Um, okay, so I'm going to make it nutmeg because nutmeg is kind of like cinnamon and that it adds some spice to your desserts, but it also has some bitterness and some depth, like a sad star would bring. So, yep, emotional weight. That's what the sad star is about. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to add one more recipe. Um, so that includes something with these spices, and then we, need, oh wait, are there more messages? We need something with butter. Okay, there's no messages. We need something with butter. So All right, I don't who know. hasn't drawn something yet? Cough, Daryl, cough, Joey. It's hard for me to draw because I can't transmit it in the chat without changing the stream. Okay, cough, Daryl, cough, cough, Daryl. What do we think of, mm, no. So it, it just needs to be something yellow. So yeah. it could be Butterfingers hmm. bar. <laughs> yeah, it has some litter in the ocean. A sea sponge. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a good one. Sea sponge. <laughs> okay. Cool. Start recipe. Right. So I'm gonna add a new recipe. Does anybody have thoughts on baked goods they would like to see with nutmeg and cinnamon? Is there anything that uses nutmeg and cinnamon and also jelly? And jelly. Ooh. Mm. Maybe thumbprint? Holiday Ooh. thumbprint <gasps> cookies? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. Cool, cool. It should be some kind of, like, spicy jelly, though. Holiday thumbprint cookies. It's been so long since I've baked because I had no outlet for all my baked goods. So I've been preventing myself from making anything new. Okay, so what goes into cookies? We got your flour. We need butter to cream it with. Sugar, very classic. Um, eggs, so they can be bound together. Um, we got cinnamon. <laughs> it's going to be a long list. We got nutmeg and jelly. We have something. In no, just oh, yes. Wow, Daryl, what a fast... What a fast artist you are. Let's see, let's see. Doesn't look good. I mean, it's been through a long voyage in the ocean. We did not expect it to look great. Delete, why won't you, oh, it's here. Delete, what's going on? Uh, you're okay. you're you're focused on the, the bottom thing. You need to click on the the canvas. I think. Okay. Well, see the see the eleven five and how it's highlighted. This is a bug. Okay. There you go. Well. Hmm. No, hmm. it's it's being weird. Just just erase. Okay, it. I'm just gonna erase it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can do this. No, wait. I can do this. And now delete. Nice. Control V. Daryl, do you want to talk about it? Um, it's a sea sponge that yeah. wishes it was a sea cucumber because sea cucumbers are much prettier. Oh um, no! But you know, it's it's become content with its lot in life. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna call it a wise wise sponge. <laughs> It recognizes that it has other wants, but it can't do anything about it. Also, I forgot to increase the number last time. No, I didn't. Wait, yes, I did. This should be eight. 
made a list for nothing. Eight. And then let's do this. Isn't there a song about like things want to be other things? Probably. Things that want to be other things? Like, and then the sea there was a fish. A fish with a secret wish. A wish to be a big cactus. Wait. <laughs> Does, wait, does this song involve rubber tree plants? Are cactuses rubber tree plants? Uh, Is the song called Tree Hugger? Yeah, <laughs> with a big flower on it. <laughs> um, okay, so I think that's everything. I'm gonna just hope that everything's hooked up to be the way it should be and that we can just keep on baking things. Chocolate, we need egg. What's egg again? Coconut's egg? Ah, pumice. Pumice, right, right, right. Pumice. I think pumice probably pumice. is the rock that looks most like a cookie. Okay, we got butter, that's great. We got matcha. What was our sugar? Oh yeah, coconut. Oh no. Says no, the coconut fulfilled both of them. That's why I went oh. through. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to first see if I can complete all of these. I'm just going to run through everything and hope. Um, um. Flout and Okay. I mean, you won't be able to do the other <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, because I typed them wrong. I see. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what do I do? Wait, where, where is this? It's Guys, remember be... to only buy high quality floud. It's really important. <laughs> I think floud is just loud flour, right? Like it makes a lot of noise when you throw it in? Not me. Um, is this going to be right? Oh, yeah. I was also going to make sure that it only checks for, it only accounts for one. So where is the overlaps code? Where is this one? Because it's square. Hello, go over here. Nah, okay. And then call if, okay, otherwise we're gonna, we're just gonna return. That should work fine, right? No. Yep. Oh, I can't Which return it, no. Yeah, just hit minus. Okay. There you go. If it's in an overlaps. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah you can't return okay, it cool. in overlaps. Uh... You could put all of the code that's in the overlaps into a function. <sighs> okay. Um, what's it going to be called? Um, handle ingredient pickup. Pick and she's taking two arguments. Mm, mm, mm. Or, or one argument, I guess, which is the ingredient. And which is it? It's right. Sprite. I have no idea where this function is going. Um, is this just going to be everything in here? Yep. And then you want to replace the other sprites oh. with ingredient, I think. Okay, just kidding. I don't want to do this anymore. It's too much work. I'm going to return the image of the completed things instead. That seems more fulfilling. We are... Uh, what's the word when we are we are thrifty people can use one ingredient for many things. Um, bake, bake. Okay, cool. This might be too much work <laughs> for nine minutes. Um, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Gonna generate bake good with. And then that's just gonna switch on the index of the recipe. If equals this equals. Uh, you can copy it over from the other function if you want. Oh, okay, yeah. Go. Oh no, let's come back. Okay, it's gonna be start start recipe. Where is that? Where are you? Start recipes. Cool, cool, cool. Here. Then. Oh no. Oh yeah, it's gonna copy there anyway. Over here. Come over here. Go away. All right. Go away. 
if recipe index equals zero, we're going to make a brownie. Are we going to make a whole pan or just a single brownie? Thoughts? I don't, I don't know if the recipes call for just a single one. That would be a oh, wild. No. Okay, so I'm gonna. Um, okay, I'm gonna say if we make a brownie on an island, like the sides won't be tall, because we don't have a great pan, so it's gonna be kind of like sloped. Yeah. And then, bucket. And no, then. Vivian, I like that we always get like right up on Jacqueline's stream. Oh, oh no! Um, and instead us. of instead of just being like, let's end early today. You're like, I'm going to sign up for a whole nother feature. Everybody else has been doing this. I thought this is what we do now. <laughs> and then, I think you could do it. We're getting okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you can do it. You got this. Now. Oh my goodness, set brownie on top of random tree. <laughs> Why make him my sprite? Okay, let's copy this. Else if, oh no. Okay, else, oh okay. I'm You could do the set at the that. end and then you don't have to. Oh, um, great idea. At the end, yeah. Great idea, Shannon. Go away. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Here, I'm on this block. Okay. I don't think. Okay. Okay, cool. And then what is this? I already forgot. Macaron. Match your macaron. Oh, right. I can do this. <laughs> oh, um, mm, I'm going to make the top one tan. I have seven minutes. Oh, I'm so good. Seven minutes. This one is going to be tan on top because we did not add food coloring because that wasn't on the ingredients list. Um, <laughs> but we do have matcha, which is a green, lots of buttercream because because you make lots of buttercream and it's hard to make the shells. So we're going to put this here. We're going to add some shading to the macaron because if they're good, they'll have feet on them. So they'll rise and that's what the holes are. Buttercream tastes better than the macaron anyway. It's true, it's true. I still have some frozen matcha buttercream in my freezer because I made extra last time. I'm like, then whenever I need frosting on a whim, <laughs> I'll have it. But that's never the case. That's that's <laughs> smart because I, I can't tell you the number of times I've wanted to frost something and I've just yeah. been completely, you know, yeah. out of luck. <laughs> okay, um, matcha macaron, what was this last one? Thumbprint cookie. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Oh, no. Cookie. Gonna fill you in. And it's filled with a holiday fruit. So something red. That's our jelly. Then we got some of our lovely spices made from sea stars with personalities. It even looks like a cookie now. And then this. Okay, cool. So, oh, I'm gonna add some shading. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go. Let's see <laughs> some baked goods. Wait, did I get rid of Wait, did you call it? Did you call that function? No, I did not. <laughs> Generate baked goods. <laughs> Generate baked goods. Okay, cool, cool. Um, hopefully, we there's no else, and they won't know. Please don't know. Okay, egg, egg, egg. Oh, egg, chocolate. Milk and flour. I don't think you guys are milk. You're butter. Okay, milk. The shell. Shell. We have brownies. Yay! <laughs> Matcha. <laughs> butter. Joey, feel free to. Or should we start outros? Let's start. Should we start outros? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Thanks everybody for making baked goods with us. Um, hope hope you learned something about baking or the ocean. We covered so much ground today. My or, you know, Viv coding. Or <laughs> co coding, yeah. Um, my name is Vivian. I'm Live Cheerful on the forum. I'm Daryl at Darzu on the forum. I'm Joey at J Wonderl on the forum. I'm Richard, and squids are birds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Shannon at Chacau on the forum. I bet we don't all say controversial animal facts at the end of all our <laughs> outros. <laughs> The important okay. thing is she described it as an animal fact. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Tune in next week.